Casey Sims, C-A-S-E-Y-S-I-M-S. -S. Aiden Simpson, A-I-D-E-N-S-I-M-P-S-O-N. And if you could tell us where we are, where you were when the incident happened, and what the incident was. Uh, so we are in Vista, California, at the Vista Skate Park right now. And um, we were at my dad's shop, Vista Muffler, just around the corner. And I'd say it was about 3.30 to yeah. 5, somewhere. well, it was about five because you were here already. here already. So it was about five o'clock, and um, we heard a couple of fireworks go off, nothing like crazy. And then we heard a really big one go off, and um, there was nothing going on. Like we were like, okay, it's normal. It's been happening all week, and we're like, all right, well maybe they'll stop soon. And then one last really big one went off, and we heard a kid scream, and somebody said, his hand, his hand, and. Um, as soon as somebody yelled call 911, we saw two cars two take off. cars take off. Yeah, they took off around the corner. Um, and then about five minutes later, we heard some more car, or uh, some more fireworks Down get launched street, off. Down the street a little bit, where they were heading. And uh, shortly after, the ambulance showed up and took him. But uh, he ended up getting life lighted, and we don't really know what happened after that. Yeah. We think he's okay. alert. And what did the patient's condition look like to you when you first saw him? You said you were standing on those utility boxes yeah. when it happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did he look like to you? He looked, at first, I think he panicked because yeah. he didn't really know what went on. All he saw was, I mean, I can't really speak for him because we were pretty far away. Um, but it looked like he was panicking. Shock. And because he did yeah. kind of panic a little bit and he took his shirt off and wrapped his shirt around his hand. And so we couldn't really see after that what happened and then he took off running into the skate park so we couldn't really see after that what happened so you think the incident happened right here by this white van behind us yeah oh yeah do you think yep. any of the damage to the white van could be from the explosive 100 percent. because yeah. the way it blew up there was car um, alarms going off way down the street yeah so i think personally i think they threw it in the van and then blew it up because it'll echo more um 
That's my personal opinion. I mean, it was a really big firework, so. Yeah. Do you know of any other children or adults that may have been injured that weren't transported or self-transported to the hospital? No, 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 there wasn't. We walked into the skate park actually and looked around and made sure nobody else was and asked a couple people if the ambulance was on their way and they all said yes. Um, but that, he was the only kid that got hurt. Yeah. And the car shop has been here for how long? Oh, God knows, long, way long. before I was born, yeah. before my dad was born. What's so. it like seeing something like this happen so close to it? Uh, well, honestly, ever since the skate park went in, it's been pretty rough. Like, there's stuff happening like this all the time. There's been shootings, there's, and this is just another one of the incidents, so I don't want to say it's regular, but lately, since the skate park went in, it's been pretty regular. But and is it typical to hear fireworks, obviously this time of year with 4th of July coming up, is it typical to hear that increase around this time of year? I would say yes, but this is the first time I've heard it in this area around this time. Alright, well thank you very much, I appreciate it.